This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard, hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for us on your podcast provider. At Fiumicino Airport in Rome, they've been trialling a COVID-19 test that takes 20 minutes to return a result. Passengers returning from countries with a high coronavirus rate, like Spain and Greece, go through it. It started on Monday. It's caught nine cases already. Could something similar work in the UK? Heathrow Airport thinks so. It's revealed plans to build a test centre that could handle up to 13,000 tests a day. Passengers coming in from countries taken off the safe list would be swabbed. Those with negative results could see the length of quarantine halved. Will that be enough to get people back on planes as the travel industry struggles through a devastating summer? I'm joined by travel consultant and commentator Paul Charles from the PC agency. Paul, will this work? Well, it's a trial, so the industry is hoping it works. And it's great that there's progress being made because other countries are way ahead of where the UK is at the moment. There are very good testing facilities in Iceland, Austria, Hong Kong, Germany, Turkey. Uh, and they're all slightly different, but they're all underway. And the UK has been lagging behind in this area. So it's great to see Heathrow starting to do this. Of course, the downside is it's only a quick trial. The government have not yet endorsed it. And we need to see the government really backing this now, hoping that the trial could last much longer. Do you think people would take part in this trial? I mean, for one thing, it looks like the cost of the testing, around £150, will be passed on to passengers. Will they pay that? Should they pay that? It is a high cost at £150, but I think most passengers are prepared to pay if they're going on holiday. They've already paid for that holiday. They want to be assured it goes ahead. And therefore, they are prepared to add that cost on or even have it included as part of a future package price, which may also be the answer for the travel industry. But other countries are doing it differently. Some are charging similar amounts. Uh, in Iceland, they're charging only £50, but that's because the government is subsidising it. And I think the UK government are probably reluctant to subsidise testing here because they'd rather have people staying in the UK so there's less risk and fewer cases being brought back into the UK. But we've got to make progress. Quarantine on its own as a policy is not the answer. It's hurting the economy. It kills productivity. And it kills travel because people don't want to then quarantine for 14 days on their return. So testing, testing and more testing is the answer. Of course, this idea from Heathrow won't completely eliminate quarantine. It will reduce it to around about five days. But even that could potentially make a difference because the travel industry, as we know, and as we've reported in the Evening Standard and on this podcast, is desperately struggling through summer. Yes, the travel industry is on its knees and needs to find things like testing to progress uh, and and improve. I think that uh, fundamentally, we need an alternative. If we're to learn to live with coronavirus, then we can't just rely on quarantine anymore. We have to have these alternatives in place. And we may never get a vaccine. And without a vaccine, you need testing, testing and test and trace and then more testing and and even daily testing as Matt Hancock has been suggesting because I don't think there's any other solution. So you can't stop the travel industry operating. You don't want to stop any of us visiting friends and family around the world. That's the worst thing you could do. So ultimately this trial hopefully will succeed and people will be prepared to pay for it and maybe the cost will come down as the technology gets better over time. Now, it's not up and running yet, so there are plenty of travellers looking at the where they're heading for a destination and also at the, the UK government's red list of countries that may not be safe in coronavirus. It's caught people out in places like France. It's caught people out in places like Spain. I know you've been keeping track of this, Paul. Where's next if there's going to be anywhere next? Where should we be looking at? Well, the next government review is scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday. So there's likely to be an announcement tomorrow evening. And sadly, I think there'll certainly be one country added to the quarantine list, which will be Croatia. Its numbers have been going up. 
um, as part of this resurgence in, in cases that we've seen in some parts of Europe. But I'm hoping it will only be Croatia, uh, that it won't be several countries. And then the other big decision for the government is whether to take Portugal off the quarantine list. Portugal's numbers on a seven-day cumulative basis, which is what the government are looking at, are well below the 20 threshold. They're at around 14. The problem is there's been a slight uptick in the last 24 hours, and that may not give much reassurance to the government decision makers. So we'll have to see what they do on Portugal. It's a very popular British tourist uh, destination, of course. But this is why quarantine has got to be changed. And I'm very open about this. It's not the answer. You can't have this sort of league table of countries going up and down or on and off every week. There has to be something which reassures consumers, builds confidence again in traveling. And that's why testing at Heathrow and other airports around the UK is the answer.